Okay, one quick thing I wanted to show you today was an application called Dropbox. Now Dropbox can be used for any types of files and stuff like that, but I just wanted to apply its use to video analysis and, and really to sharing video files. Because they tend to be too big to email and setting up FTP accounts and that type of stuff is a little bit complex and beyond the average computer user. Now I know all the proprietary softwares out there have different solutions to it and, and they've all invented their own sort of bespoke solution to sharing video files and I've seen a lot of them and they definitely have their merits and if you're any way any type of budget at all I, I'd suggest you look at them and see the type of added value they give you but for those looking for a very quick way just to share videos with a couple of players or a few of the management team I think Dropbox offers a, a decent solution so here's a quick run through I've set up my Dropbox account and here's a list of my files so it works exactly the same way as a Windows PC desktop type thing would work so my files are listed down here so if I want to create a folder I can simply go in here and name it and we might call it the second team okay and now I have a folder called second team one great thing about it is I can then make folders shareable so if my fellow coaches or other players have Dropbox accounts, I can then get them to buy in and share a folder. So let's create a share folder. Okay, and we might call this uh, set plays as an example. Okay, next. And then what I do is I invite people in. So you might cut and paste a list of your team's email addresses, but let's just add in a few that I have already. And John at. Okay, so there's two email addresses. These, for argument's sake, are my two other co-managers or coaches, and I want them to be able to see these files that I put in there. So we can click Share Folder. So I've now created a public folder called Set Plays, but it's only public to those two people that I've asked to join in. Very simple. So then if I wanted to upload a file, I simply go into Upload. I can choose a file. Okay, so I'm going to choose this wildlife file, for example and I could hit start upload okay now I've already uploaded that file and it took me about two minutes to upload so it's not a quick process and it very much depends on your broadband speed but I'd say give it a go and it's something that can be done in the background while you're still working on their games so just to give you an idea I uploaded that wildlife file into this management set place okay and literally there it is so if you were logging in if you'd access to this folder you'd simply go to dropbox.com log in with your username and password and you have access to this wildlife file. One thing Dropbox will also do very good is sync with the file on your computer. So for example these all these folders that I have all sync with folders on my desktop. So it means as soon as I'm online the file starts to download onto my desktop. So if we go in and have a look you'll see now that I'm in my my documents my Dropbox folder. Okay there's all the folders that I have and in management set plays I now have this new file called wildlife and that could be set plays, corners, line outs, whatever it is that you're analysing and I can simply then go and watch that file. So I think it has an enormous application at that type of level. To give you an idea of the pricing, uh, 2 gigabytes of storage is completely free so start with that and give it a go. If you want it up to something like 50 gigabytes it's only 9.99 per month which I don't think is bad. These are in dollars, by the way. And then even 100 gig a month. 100 gig is $20 a month. So to me, it's, it's a decent solution, nice and easy to set up, very easy for other people to buy into, and can quite easily share a couple of video files with various different teams.